Hey, what's up, YouTube? Hey, today I'm going to give you guys a review based on my personal experience of Servicios Medicos de la Frontera. If you're looking to get uh, maybe a fiancé visa or a green card visa for a family member or a friend, someone that you know down in Mexico, and they have to have a medical examination uh, before they go to the U.S. consulate for their interview, you're definitely going to watch this video. Um, I felt like I got taken advantage of. I got charged a lot more money than I should have as did a lot of other people that I know. So I want to make you guys aware of it. So here's what's going on. When you call down there, they answer the phone. They set you up an appointment. They're very nice. They're very professional. They speak English on the phone. So you're thinking, hey, this is going good, right? I was told that it would be 200 and something dollars for my friend's appointment. Uh, we get down there. She calls me and it turns out it's going to be over $400. And you have no choice but to pay it. You've already started your paperwork. You've already got your appointment at the consulate. You have to have this. If you don't have this paperwork, this medical examination and the blood work, you're screwed, right? You're losing everything. So what they do is they tell you one price, they lowball you on the phone and you get there and it's a whole nother ball game. And they know that they're going to get their money because you have to pay it. It's literally like a, like a highway robbery situation. Um, because they know that these people have their sponsor in the United States who has dollars and they're going to send that down to Mexico to fix that situation. Now, it didn't just happen to me. This happened because when I was at the U.S. consulate in line with all the other people, there's literally hundreds of people in line waiting for their friends, family, loved ones to do their interview for their visas, right? And we were talking about the whole process and everybody's talking about their lawyers or their medical appointments. And a lot of people, I'm going to say the grand majority of the people were not happy with Servicios Medicos de la Frontera, ahí en Juarez, okay? Same thing happened. They told them one price over the phone, but when they got there, they upsold them. Now, here's the good news. I am going to give them a little credit for this. They pass everybody. Doesn't matter if you have any pre-existing conditions or you have something wrong with you. They're, they're, they're all about the money. They're just, they're passing people right through. So just know that just, uh, when your friend or family or loved one goes down there and just be expecting that it's going to be more money than it normally is. Um, anyway, hey, this is not a video that I normally do. I usually don't review places, but I felt like, um, after what happened to me and so many other people, then those are very important dates that you should know this. So, hey, take it easy, and now you know what to expect from Servicios Medicos de la Frontera. All right, guys, I hope it doesn't happen to you, but maybe you'll be prepared for it if it does. See ya.